Hello everyone. Um, in this video, um, we're gonna go over the how, how to do tenfold and fivefold cross uh, cross validation or kfold cross validation in general. Um, for our um, you know when we create our model, we would like to check you know, or to validate if this model is a good model or not. Now uh, the way we started in this class, we started with talking about um, you know the or the typical approach we were doing is just. Um, you know, splitting our data into two parts, training data set and a testing data set. And this is what we were seeing here. So let's suppose that this is um, um, our data set and it has n observations. All we were doing is splitting that half-half uh, randomly into a training data set and a testing data set. Now we were using the training data set in order to train the model and come up with the model. And then to validate the accuracy of the model, we were using the testing data set or the remaining data set, which what we called also the unseen data. Um, and then we will, we, you know, we were getting the uh, either the MSE or the percentage error rate or whatever in order to assess the model. Now, the you know, there's a huge disadvantage for this kind of approach because what we are doing here, we are. Uh, not using half of the data set. So uh, we are losing you know, a lot of information that could be very useful in order to create our model. We said instead of doing this, we can uh, use an approach called leave one out cross validation or LUCV if you want to say it. To, to, to say it. Sorry, my phone keeps ringing. Um, so in, in this approach, what we were doing is we are splitting the data set into, again, testing data and uh, training data. But the testing data is going to be only one observation now. And the remaining observations, which is almost n minus, which is actually n minus one observations, is going to be our training data set. This means that we almost have all of the data set as our training data. So that would be a big advantage over the previous approach. Uh, when we talked about this approach here, we said that it's going to be very time consuming and uh, you know it has it's a computer um, you know uh, uh, computational uh, computationally intensive because you know what we are doing here we're doing this n times we're we're fitting the model n times each time we're taking different uh, training and testing data set and then. At the very end, we were like, you know, uh, taking the mean of all of the MSEs that we produce from all of these um, models. Now, now, remember that all of this is done internally by the software or by R, uh, sorry, by R in our case. Um, instead, we said that if, if we want to get a faster, faster results and still accurate and, uh, you know, stable, stable uh, models, uh, we can use K k-fold cross-validation, which is actually the, you know, um, what we will be mainly using from now on in this class in order to assess our model. So we have the data set. We are gonna, uh, uh, we are gonna, um, you know, again, subset our data set into um, k parts. In case we are talking about five-fold cross-validation, so we are gonna um, you know, cut our data into five parts. One of these four parts, one fifth of of, uh, of the data set, will go for testing uh, for the testing data, and the remaining four fifths will be for the training data. So this means that we have a lot of observation for the training uh, data, but again, we're repeating this process k times. So if we, again, if we have five fold cross validation, we're doing this five times so that we we make sure that if the first, if if, if um, in the first iteration we decided that um, uh, this the first part is going to be our testing uh, data and the remaining would be our training data, then the next time we make sure that uh, whatever we put in the testing data here earlier is going to be part of the training data now, and then uh, we take a testing data. Uh, from what we used at the training data before. So in this way, we make sure that we use test, we use the, the data set, all of our data in training the model, and then all of our data in testing the model. But we, were, we are doing it here at, uh, in a more um, clever way. Okay? Um, and again, this has 
an advantage that it doesn't take much time. Um, it will still uh, produce, uh, you know, accurate, uh, of course, accurate models because we're using all of our data set. Thank you. Next video will be how we write the R code to, um, to do the k-fold cross-validation and, um, and we will see how we can implement that in R. See you in a bit.